Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little studio vlog planned for you guys. So this is probably like one of the longest videos on my channel so far, but this month has been pretty hectic. Um, it's been like about two months since I launched my Etsy shop and since then I've been pretty busy. Um, I've been packing orders, creating new things for you guys, and also school started up for me again. I hope during this difficult time, all of you guys have been staying safe and healthy and also taking care of yourselves. Usually, I tend to stray away from voiceovers, but I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my process and like what I've learned so far from running this shop. I've been working on a lot of new sticker designs and I feel like I've come a long way with my illustration process. I'm really, really proud of this sticker in particular. It's, I think, my favorite so far in this last shop update. It's like a little strawberry soda. So in this last shop update, I released a bunch of new stickers. Most of them are like drink inspired. So we have like a milk box, a coffee mug, this Moon Faces juice box, the soda can that I just showed you guys, and then uh, another style of a coffee mug. I've been mostly just hand cutting my stickers and that's been pretty manageable for me so far since you know I just started and orders have been coming in slowly. Um, I'm kind of waiting till I can't cut stickers myself anymore or at least like in a reasonable amount of time and I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned so far is just to take things one step at a time whether that's for equipment or supplies or like the amount of products that you're releasing. Just start small and then build up from there. So, I mean, I could have just bought a Cricut machine from right at the start, but I wasn't really sure if um, people would like my designs. And that honestly has also been surprising that people are, have actually been buying my stuff. But <laughs> I feel like if someone does order from me, I do want their like um, experience to be like really special. And I want them to feel like really happy while opening it. So. I've been working on a few things to like make my packaging look better, you know, make my branding better. So yeah, I like stamped all my envelopes and you'll see later I made some new business cards. But I think that's enough talking for right now. So enjoy this uh, montage of me packing Mamoshi orders.
packing orders has been really therapeutic for some reason. I don't know what it is, but um, I really enjoy the process of, you know, making things look really nice. This sparkly paper, actually, I found at the dollar store, which was such a steal because I found like 40 sheets of this stuff for a dollar. It's kind of crazy. Um, the circle stickers that you're seeing are another thing that I designed. Um, I just used the sticker paper that I was using for all of my other stickers and just printed out like a whole bunch and cut them myself. Um, so most of my process right now has been wrapping up these, all of the things and like the sparkly paper, adding some freebies and then, um, you know, adding a thank you note as well to let whoever ordered know that I really appreciate them ordering from me. Um, but here are the new business cards that I designed. I'm super excited about them. Um, they're a little bit smaller than my other thank you cards, which you might see, I think, maybe in a clip later on in this video, but I'm really glad that I made these. Um, I kind of polished them by using these circle cutter, corner cutter things. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. But yeah, I really love how these turned out. Usually once I seal the envelope, I like to like add some stickers and washi tape and stuff on the front to make it look a little bit nicer and um, I cut these like, um, what do you call it, like squares out of grid paper and that's what I've been using for addressing like all of my envelopes and that's been working out great for me so those are some affordable ways to package your orders if that's something you're thinking about. I personally find packaging like really fun to think about and brainstorm and I think it's really representative of like what your brand is. And since we're on the topic of brands, um, I think I'm very fortunate to already have like a YouTube audience that I can like share my videos with for my vlogs. But I realized that I was really lacking with my like Instagram marketing and like other social media, not really having my audiences connected. So that was a big thing that I've been working on is posting consistently and also like showing my followers like what I'm working on and new things that are coming out. If you do want to follow me on social media, all of my stuff is in the description, my Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, um, so follow those if you want to see more of my content. I try to post more stuff about my shop and, you know, my journaling stuff really consistently. I guess now is also a good time to say if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you did. Um, I'll be posting more journaling plan with me is for, like, monthly uh, setups as well as more studio vlogs which I'm very excited to share and make in the future. So I don't think I ever showed my office space before in my videos, maybe just like really briefly my desk and stuff, but I don't think I've shown like a full um, tour of it, but it was a mess. Like there was stuff everywhere, pens on my desk, stickers everywhere. I mean, you can probably just see from this clip that it was just awful because I couldn't keep things organized. And so I decided that I wanted to completely redo the office room. And I also wanted to record it so I could show you guys like the before and after, which is looking at the clips now, it's kind of insane. But I cleared all the stuff out and I moved the position of my desk so that it was facing the window. And I really like that because now there's just so much more natural lighting. This desk, by the way, is such an ugly color. Um, I really didn't like the gray, so I got this, like, uh, it's like cabinet paper, basically. Like, you stick it on the bottom of your cabinets. But I bought this marble design, and I covered the sides of the desk, as well as, like, the drawers. And it completely, like, changed the look of the desk. So I was really happy with that. And... Here I'm basically just setting up all of my packing stuff. I have all of my envelopes, um, like my brand stickers and everything there. So it's really nice to have like a specific area for packing instead of having to hunt for stuff all over the room. <laughs> but so that's what that's for. And this next bin has all of my products in it. So all of my stickers are organized in there now, as well as prints and other stuff. Um, my 
gaming cabinet thing, if you saw it before, all of my Funko Pops were on the top level, which you couldn't see anything. So I'm really glad that I like spread them out. And this wall actually I put together by like taping some of my art prints and stuff that I bought, as well as my keychains. And I think it turned out really nice. I think I might just keep expanding upon that until I cover the whole wall. Um, here's my stationary stuff all organized, my printer. My desk looks so much more open and like clear. Um, I also wanted to share that I bought this like IKEA cart thing, but I got it from Amazon. IKEA was all out of those carts. I organized all the drawers and everything. It was it took me a whole week to get everything just organized in there. Here I have pencil cases, um, stamps, extra pens that I couldn't fit in my cart, um, just all of my extra stuff. In this other drawer we have some extra washi and just some miscellaneous things. Um, and the bottom one had just folders in it.
So I've been seeing this trend going around of um, creators making clay pins. So I wanted to try it out for myself and put those up on my shop. Um, so the two ideas that I had were to make switch cases and then like really cute pencil clay pins. But I made a mistake when ordering my clay. And so the first clay that I ordered was actually modeling clay. And I thought that no drying would mean that it wouldn't dry out while I was working with it. But it turns out that means it won't dry like ever. <laughs> so I had to reorder my clay and I got this DAS or DAS clay. And honestly, I wasn't as happy with it as I thought I was going to be. It was really hard to like get out all the wrinkles and stuff in the clay, but anyways, I decided that I wanted to paint the pencils like a periwinkle color, and then the switch cases would be like blue and like bright yellow Joy-Cons, so I used my Arteza gouache for that. Just in general, I also wanted to talk about my style, like my illustration style as of lately, and just my artistic process. I feel like I've been really insecure lately about like my illustration style and just the products that I've been creating. I think it might be a combination of seeing other creators, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram, um, putting out their content and it just being so good and in my eyes like perfect and I think I hold myself to really high expectations even though I'm not really an illustrator like as a profession and I don't really do this full time but I still feel like I'm really hard on myself which I'm trying to unlearn and I'm trying to be more gentle with myself as um, Franard says. I've been watching her studio vlogs a lot and they've been helping but um, even with this studio vlog, I felt really just, um, I don't know, insecure is probably, I'm gonna keep saying it, but I feel like it's the right word. I just feel like it's not as good as other things that I've been watching, but I've been trying to just remember that not every creator just like started where they are now, and it took a lot of time and hard work to get to where they are, so... I just need to trust the process and keep doing what I'm doing and eventually I think I'll be happier with the stuff that I'm creating whether it's art for my shop or whether it's YouTube videos so I'm just gonna keep reminding myself of that anyways with these clay pens I'm not really sure how I feel about them um, they took a lot of work and I still don't feel like I'm fully happy with them, but we'll see what I do. I think the switches turned out really cute. Um, I kind of feel like blaming the clay for the imperfections, but it's also just lack of experience on my part. Um, I like the colors that I used for the pencil though. I hope you guys enjoyed this studio vlog though. It's time to wrap things up and I'll see you guys in the next one.